Hey guys, so to continue with our plantar fasciitis series, this video is about joint mobility. Now in a couple days I'm going to be putting out a longer video about joint mobility for runners, but the same concept holds true for treating plantar fasciitis. Your muscles surround a joint, and if the joint doesn't move, if it doesn't have its full range of motion, anything that attaches around that area will also be restricted. So you're going to see one of my favorite runners, Maggie, going through, she volunteered to be my model for this, um, so you're going to see Maggie going through some joint mobility work that are specific to towards people with plantar fasciitis. Um, and again, it treats the whole leg, not just the feet. Um, so what's gonna follow is you'll see Maggie go through it. I'm gonna instruct you guys to do about three to five to each side. If you wanna do more, you can, that's great. And I would recommend doing it three times a week. So it's not as extensive as some of the soft tissue work and the stretching that I recommend maybe doing every day or maybe even sometimes twice a day. Um, but this is specific to three times a week. Again, if you love it and you wanna do more, totally fine with me. Um, but this is just to get the joints moving through their full range of motion so there's no restrictions there. Um, again, I'll put out a bigger video later this weekend for runners and it would apply to you guys too. But just keep yourselves moving, keep your joints moving, which will then help keep your soft tissues moving, which then helps decrease the pull on the plantar fascia. You'll see here Maggie is rolling her ankle from side to side. Now please note she is not putting any weight, so don't stand on it, just roll it. And this is to get some mobility through the outside of your ankle. This one is to get some mobility through the front of your ankle. She puts her toes down and pushes her lower leg forward to get a stretch in that front of the ankle joint. This is for the inner thigh, so she lunges to the side, goes as far as it's comfortable. She does about three to five to one side, then switches to the other side, just going as far as it's comfortable. Now you may feel some stretch in the tissues, but just go about as far as comfortable. If you can't get as low as Maggie was doing, here's the modification. So it's more of a side lunge. Again, three to five on each side, just as far as it's comfortable. For the front of the hip, um, you bring one leg forward, your hands inside your feet, and then you move your tush up and down, and you switch sides. If you can't get as low as Maggie was, here's a modification for that. Next, this is for the outside of your hip joint. She has her ankle on her knee, and she just squats back as far as it's comfortable. Um, this one is for the inside and the outside of your hip joint, and so you're just rolling side to side while you're sitting on the ground. She doesn't have any pain um, in her knee. We always make sure that's not bothering you, and you just rotate from side to side, about three to five to each side. And finally, to make sure we get that low back as well and the side of your hips, um, bending from one side to the other. So if you need anything in the meantime, let me know. But otherwise, I'll see you in a couple days where we're going to be talking about some other self-care options such as um, an ice cup massage and a water bottle massage, um, Straussburg socks, splinting. We're going to talk about that in the next video. So see you guys soon.